Thank you. I'm Miriam Gennari, and I'm here with Peter Anderson. Peter is a recent graduate of George Mason Law School. He's also a member of a steering committee for TAP in Arlington. We talked about TAP in Arlington with Jay Fazette when we had him on a show a while back. But all in all, what you're trying to do is steer people away from using single-use water bottles. Tell me about the project. That's right, Miriam, and thanks for having me. Um, well, the project, like you said, is an educational outreach. We're trying to ha help Arlington residents choose to drink tap water instead of using single-use plastic bottles to sort of get a lot of that plastic out of our environment. Um, How did it all get started? Um, well, about a year ago, as you mentioned, County Board Member Jay Fazette gathered a group of people to watch a film called Bag It, um, which talks about the destructive impact of plastic bags and plastic bottles on the environment. These folks were inspired to start the educational outreach, and uh, I was sympathetic to the cause, so I got involved. Well, I'm so glad that they recruited you. You're here today to share with us some statistics that might sway viewers into rethinking their use of plastic water bottles. Uh, tell us a little bit about how it affects the environment. Sure. Um, well, there's, there's really three things that stand out for me. Um, too much plastic ends up in our landfills and oceans, rivers, streams. Um, it, Plastic is very energy intensive, both to create and to dispose of, um, and it costs the consumer a lot of money. Um, so let me, I can tell you, start with the cleanup problem. Yeah, let's start with the harmful effects. Sure, so what happens after um, you use an individual plastic water bottle? Um, first, um, almost 1,500 plastic water bottles are used every second in the United States. This adds up to almost 50 billion used per year. Um, Yet, 69% of these plastic bottles are not even recycled. So where do they end up? They end up in landfills, um, also in rivers, streams, oceans. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, that's no problem. That plastic that ends up in, in landfills and in, um, in our parks takes almost 450 years to break down. So do we really want these chemicals leaching into our water and soil? All right, now let's talk a little bit about the energy. That, that goes into making water bottles? Sure. Um, before you use that plastic bottle, um, it takes almost 2,000 times as much energy to produce bottled water as it takes to produce an equal amount of tap water. Um, production and transport of plastic bottles in the U.S. market consumes more than 30 million barrels of oil per year and produces as much carbon dioxide as 2 million cars on the road. All right, well, I know that some people are concerned about the environment, other about, others about energy use, but a lot of people are concerned about how it affects their wallet. So give me some of those numbers. Sure, well, that speaks to me as a young person. So um, tap water in Arlington costs the individual consumer less than one cent per gallon when you look at your water bill. Um, whereas, uh, by contrast, uh, buying individual bottled water costs a thousand times as much as uh, drinking tap water. To put things in perspective, single-use bottles of water cost roughly twice as much as gasoline. Wow, that is really going to affect the pocketbook one day. All right, so um, as you're out talking to people, I hear, I'm sure there's going to there's be questions and concerns. What are some of the biggest concerns people raise? Sure, um, the first thing people say to me is safety. Can I drink the tap water? Is it safe? Um, I respond, yes. Um, Arlington County tap water meets or exceeds the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act standards, the Virginia Department, Department of Health standards, and we know this because the county tests the water up to 65,000 times per year. Wow, highly invested in our water. Absolutely. Okay. Um, another excuse people give is taste. They say they prefer the taste of bottled water to tap water, um, but studies have shown only about one third of folks can detect a difference in taste between bottle and tap, um, and other blind taste tests have shown that um, over half the people prefer the taste of tap water anyway. Isn't that amazing? Um, a final excuse people give me is, oh, I always recycle. Um, well, ex recycling is good, but it's very energy intensive. So we'd, we'd rather reduce demand, we'd rather reduce the amount of plastic present in, so, you know, and need something to, to do with it. Not only that, but recycling costs the county a lot of money. It, ca it does cost the county a lot of money. Um, convenience is another thing. People um, are worried about carrying it with them. Um, but it's, it's not difficult to just have a permanent bottle like this one and refill it at water fountains. A lot of, 
local businesses are willing to fill your bottle for free. Oh, now, and so that'll save you time, that'll save you money, and certainly you don't have to deal with the waste. Exactly. All right, well, you know, um, I'm sure you're going to get also asked, when is it appropriate to use plastic water bottles? Sure. Um, in emergency situations where maybe you don't have access to tap water or maybe like in West Virginia recently when there was sure. a problem with the tap water, um, we would know that since our county tests so regularly. Okay. But, but it's never a good idea to use those shot glass size water bottles. You want to go out and get two or three gallon jugs? Absolutely. That makes a lot more sense. Absolutely. All right. So what is it that the steering committee is doing to try to help educate people? I, I know you have a website called Tap In Arlington. Um, what are your goals? Sure. Um, well, our goal is for people to take the pledge. The pledge is just a choice. It asks people to say, I choose to drink tap water instead of buying bottled water. Um, and that's available on our website, um, www.tapinarlington.com. If you use .org, it'll redirect. Um, and so our goal is to have 10,000 Arlingtonians sign the pledge. And 10,000 would represent what percentage of our population here in Arlington? Roughly 5%. Okay, so if 5% of Arlingtonians choose to drink tap water rather than bottled water, it's likely that the county will continue to protect and, and uh, invest in our water system, right? Absolutely. Makes great sense. We'll protect our water um, because we're drinking from uh, the tap, so we'll be careful about what we put down the drain, and we'll also be conscientious about wasting. Absolutely. These It'll are all great things. It's well, a more sustainable practice. And that's what we want. And I'm just thrilled that citizens have gotten together to, uh, to build this coalition. I hope that you reach your 10,000 and exceed it. And I want to thank you for joining us today, Peter. Thank you. All right. I want you to go to tapinarlington.com or .org and sign up and take the pledge. I will, too.